which is named the waste water treatment plant and it is used to clarify the sewage water and uh, here, due to some reasons I can't pour water over here but I can explain you the functions of this plant that we, when we will pour the dirty water into our first tank which is named as sewage water then the water will be transferred to our next tank from through the pipe uh, which is named as uh, part screen tank and here we have uh, inserted the screen or we can see that over here which is used to uh, stop the hard waste which is flowing along with the water for example napkins and the stones, pebbles and poly bags etc and then the water is transferred to a next tank which is named as the settling tank and in this tank we are in, in this tank we are using the process of sedimentation over here uh, in which that uh, as you know that sedimentation is a process in which the hard heavy materials which are present in the into the water the settle down at the bottom just because of the gravitational pull and their density then the water is transferred to a next tank which is named squid tank in here we will create a whirlpool over here with the help of the what do we say that skimmer over here the hell, and it, the, the oil is lighter as you know that oil is lighter so it will be obviously settled at the top and the soap will create a layer of the foam and it will be also settled at the top and then the clarified water which is present at the lower scale will be transferred to a next tank which is named as aeration tank and as you can see that in the aeration tank we are pumping air into the water so as you can see that but we didn't pour some water so the air is, has been pumped into the water so when the air has been pumped into the water so it will grow, help to grow the aerobic bacteria aerobic bacteria grows in the presence of air or we can say oxygen so when they will grow then the water is transferred to an extent which is named as 